So here's my smoke detector in my kitchen. Here's the, the base station here. You want to put it a couple inches away. Now I just put double-sided sticky tape on this because I don't really want to screw anything in and that's going to work just fine. So I'm going to stick this here. So this is a different smoke detector so I need to retest it to calibrate it to the smoke detector. So let's test it again. It was successful. Perfect. Now if I were to have a fire. I get no alarm. This device listens for your smoke or carbon monoxide detector and can give you an alert to your phone. So you will need an app to use that. Here is the QR code for that, but you will download the Xsense Home Security app. Here are all of the parts that come with it. So this unit you will plug into the USB micro and it will power it. And then this is what actually connects to your home network. Here's the hardware that you can use to attach this nearby to the smoke detector or carbon monoxide detector. You screw this into the wall, you put in the AAA batteries, and then you can just plug that in. So I just set up my account with Xsense. I've plugged this in, I've got the batteries in here, so let's go ahead and add a device. We want to go ahead and add a smoke and CO alarm listener, so we'll click on that. We've got this guy, add base station, so yes, while using the app. So scan the QR code, so there is a QR code on the back of this, so let's go ahead and do that it looks like it found it just fine it already gave it a name and it looks like we need to add a home and location so let me do that real quick all right so I gave my home a name dome home and a location living room and we will go next so it's asking us to turn on the base station then press and hold the button for five seconds until it flashes yellow which it already is so we'll go ahead and confirm and press next and now it's going to look for the Bluetooth on this device and it is asking Asking me to enter a network. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Alright, the network has been added. Wi-Fi connected. And it found it. Great. So by default, you can silence the alarm by pressing this button. You can turn that off so that the only way you can disable it is with your phone app. I like the default settings, so I will go ahead and save that. So it gives us the name and then we have some options. For example, we can enable voice prompts. We can silence the alarm. It says what network we're on and we can share the device as well. So we do need to add the alarm listener as well. And it looks like we can upgrade the firmware. It says to install the batteries. I've already done that. Quickly tap this button twice. I will do that. So now it is blinking. So I will press Ready next. to add a device. Device added. And hey, what do you know? That was pretty simple. After the device has been added, it gives us instructions for how to install. It instructs two to five inches away from the smoke alarm. Really nice and easy to follow. All right, and it has a test countdown. We'll go ahead and cancel that. All right, so it's going to have us test the connection. So I've got a smoke alarm here. So I'm just going to press the button here to test this and it should detect it on this and give me a notification. Ooh, that's so loud. Carbon monoxide. So it recognized the signal for both the fire and carbon monoxide. So we say test was successful. And we can go ahead and say installation finished. Obviously, you'll want to install this unit on the wall. But we are done here. All right, so both of our devices are now online. Let's try this again. Alarm off. So it was able to notify my phone that an alarm was triggered. It also triggers this so you basically get an additional alarm. So it's nice to put this in a location where you would want to hear it, maybe a bedroom or something like that. So if an alarm went off in another location and you couldn't hear it, at least you could hear this. And this is what it's like if your phone is completely off. Alarm off. So you can also turn the alarm off with your phone. 
and you got a full history of all the alarms that have gone off. Really nice way to stay safe as a family. This unit was sent to me so I could do this video review. I think it's a really good idea. This is something nice if you have an Airbnb or a rental or in every house that you have, you could benefit from something like this. If there's a fire in your home and no one's there, obviously a smoke alarm is great when you're at the home so you can get out of the home. A fire can still destroy your home. Having something like this can enable you to get the help you need to prevent the spread of the fire. This device can potentially save your home from total destruction. So this is a great, wonderful device to have, not only to ensure safety, but also the protection of your home.